Hey, hey everybody, what's up? Sean Hatzel here, founder of Get Lean After 40. And inside this video, I'm gonna teach people in their 40s, 50s, and 60s how to reset and rebalance their body's master weight management hormones. Now this is all backed up by the latest scientific research. Now speaking of hormones and scientific research, I also have something brand new, something innovative that I'm super excited to share with you at the end of this video that you can learn about over at my website. It's a one day protocol specifically designed to help people in their 40s, 50s, and 60s rebalance their body's master weight management hormones, boost the metabolism, and fight the aging process. But first, let's talk about a couple tips that you can use to rebalance and reset your body's master weight management hormones in conjunction with the one-day diet protocol over at my website. So the first thing to understand is that you must consume adequate water and you must be getting enough sleep. That will affect all of these hormones. So take half of your body weight, and that's approximately the number of ounces of water you should have on a daily basis. Remember, the more water you give your body, the less it will hold on to, so it's gonna help you get rid of belly bloat. All the metabolic processes that take place inside the body take place by the transport of water. In fact, 70% of our body, and I think almost 80% of our brain is made up of water. So don't underestimate the power of water, and don't underestimate the power of sleep. Because research shows that if you don't get adequate sleep, it's gonna take all these hormones out of whack. So shoot for getting seven, eight hours as much as you can, and on days you don't, sneak in a nap. So the first hormone on the list is your thyroid hormones. Now this is a biggie and it's first for a reason. This little tiny gland in your neck is often considered the master gland of the metabolism because it actually regulates your body weight and it controls the speed of your metabolism. So two different strategies that you can use to boost thyroid hormones. The first one is to add specific foods to your diet. I listed a couple up here. I just want to look at them real quick. So eggs, Brazil nuts, shellfish, and sea vegetables like kelp and seaweed. So these foods are rich in the nutrients that will increase your thyroid hormones. The primary one being iodine. The second tip carries over into the second hormone, which is leptin, is using strategic high carb cheat meals. So your favorite foods at the right time every single weekend can help reset thyroid hormones and reset leptin levels. And this is why. See, when we go on a low calorie diet, the first macronutrient we typically cut out is carbohydrates. Well, carbs contain glucose and glucose is a building block of TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone. So you need glucose in your diet to produce thyroid hormones. Also, it only takes about one week of low carb dieting before leptin levels, which also helps regulate your body weight declines by up to 50%. And these strategic high carb cheat meals eaten at the right time every weekend will help you reset your body's leptin sensitivity. I talk more about the scientific research behind this concept over at my website. The next hormone on the list is ghrelin. The number one way to control ghrelin is to consume protein in every single meal. Research shows that people who consume a high protein diet obsess less about food and have less late night cravings and simply eat less. So ghrelin is often considered the hunger hormone. So this is what gives you these nasty hunger and cravings, especially late at night. Now there's also a specific meal timing trick that you can use. It's all over at my website. When you wake up three or four days per week and you just time your first meal of the day the right way, you boost growth hormone up to a thousand percent higher than normal. And what this does is it automatically helps regulate your ghrelin levels so you eliminate your hunger and your cravings. The next one up is insulin. And the best way to control insulin is using the proper food combinations. Now, remember, when insulin levels are elevated, it's nearly impossible for your body to access and metabolize stored fat cells as a fuel source. So by, by combining the right foods the right way, just four or five days per week, you keep insulin stable to keep your body in an environment where it can access those stored fat cells and metabolize them for fuel. The next hormone on the list is testosterone. So the number one way to boost testosterone is just lift weights. Women especially are afraid of lifting weights after 40 or lifting heavy like they might bulk up. And this is a myth. Muscle is metabolism. After you turn 40 years old, sarcopenia kicks in. This is a fancy word for muscle loss. You wanna do everything in your power to reverse this because you're gonna burn more calories when you have more muscle on your frame. And this will also help you boost testosterone levels. And yes, this is very important for women as well because it's gonna help boost your energy levels and help you feel like you're a lot younger. The next one is estrogen. Simple tip here, just add more green cruciferous veggies to your diet. 
because they contain a component called DIM. And DIM has been shown to be very anti-estrogenic, so it fights against bad estrogen. The next one on the list is cortisol. Now, cortisol is often referred to as a stress hormone. So, the best way to take control of your cortisol levels, believe it or not, is to eat healthy carbs a few days per week at dinner time. See, most people think we need to eat our carbs early in the day, otherwise they get stored on our body. And that's not true, and the scientific research backs that up now. It shows that people who eat their carbs at night actually get just as good results or better results than those eating their carbs early in the day. Now, on top of this, when you balance out your meal and you combine it the right way, like I teach you over at my website, in this dinner, so you balance out your carbs with a protein source, this regulates your cortisol cycle. Now, when you regulate your cortisol cycle, this induces the brain to release melatonin. This puts you into a deep sleep when you go to bed at night. And the deeper your sleep is, the more growth hormone pulses your body is gonna have during the night. So there you have it, a crash course on how to optimize, reset, and rebalance your body's master weight management hormones. Now, over at my website, you're gonna learn how to put this together into a one day diet protocol that you can follow just three or four days of the week to reset all these hormones while quickly metabolizing stored fat cells as a fuel source. So time, our most precious commodity. Thank you for taking time to check this out. I see some likes are coming in, thank you for that. Hey listen, I gave you a drink of water with a fire hose here. So if this is too much information, just hit share and that way it'll be on your wall and you can go back and watch it anytime you want. So thanks again for watching and God bless.